every morning Canada at this time 740 we are getting answers to your questions about COVID-19 and joining us again this morning is infectious diseases specialist Dr. Isaac Bogosh good to have you back with us this morning oh thanks good morning listen yesterday I was schooling you about laundry today I'm going to ask <laughs> you about groceries a lot of questions around this should I be wiping down all my groceries when I get back from the store uh, you know, I don't really think so. I mean, uh, we just have to think about, like, have there been lots of hands on these groceries? Uh, we have to really figure out, you know, to what degree are we going to go here? And I think that, you know, if people go to the grocery store, they get groceries, you know, I think it's just fair to put them away. Um, you know, certainly fruits and vegetables, we get this question a lot. Do I need to do anything special with my fruits and vegetables? And I, I don't think so. I mean, I, I would just wash them with, uh, with regular tap water before we eat them, just like we normally do. And with the rest of the groceries, I wouldn't, I wouldn't worry too much about those as well. All right, this next question from a viewer is along the same lines. How does the virus jump from item to item? Can it? And if my jacket or purse touches a subway seat and then I touch my jacket or purse, will the virus then be on my hands? You've talked before about this being passed by droplets. Can it be passed from item to item? It can. It, it certainly can. I mean, we know that if the, the viral particle is, uh, is on a surface and then another surface is touches that surface, it certainly can be passed from surface to surface. Uh, but remember, it can only live for about two hours to two days and it'll live let it won't be viable if uh, you know in in ultraviolet light or with you know uh, hot temperatures so you know it, it's it it still can be passed that way and I just think the key point here is we have to have really good hand hygiene whenever whenever we're in touch with uh, with uh, high contact surfaces I've heard one of your colleagues describe uh, hand washing this way and I love that which is like think about every time you wash your hands that you're putting on a pair of gloves Oh, that's a really good uh, description, exactly. And especially when you watch little kids w wash their hands, where they just sort of put their hands underneath the tap for one <laughs> second and then take them out. You know, I think it's you know it's it's extremely important to remember to remember that you got to get the back, the front, the insides as well between the fingers. Uh, that's a that's a wonderful description. I think that's apt. Yeah, I, I would go with that. This is from one of our viewers uh, at Mockingjay on Instagram. Wants to know the longest someone who has COVID nineteen typically has it for if someone tests positive will they be better and out of isolation in two weeks uh yeah so many places are actually testing for uh to see if you've actually recovered from it and you can actually get a test done to see if you've cleared the infection uh you know some places are doing this now and that will determine whether or not you can come out of isolation some places are saying you know what you just you, you've had the infection here's your two weeks and you're going to be good and and both approaches are correct and I think the other really important point here is if someone has this infection and, and they've recovered from it it's very likely that they're immune it's very likely that they're not going to get this again during the course of this pandemic so you know obviously we still have to have good hand hygiene but uh, it, it, it's nice to know that uh, those people won't be contributing to transmission uh, transmission of this infection and that they're not going to get reinfected really quickly Dr. Bogosh as a follow-up to that question if you have been in isolation one member of your family is sick but you have a multiple family household and another person then gets it do you have to continue to stay as a family for another two weeks in isolation yeah I mean this is starting to get a little bit complicated some places would certainly say yes and I think in those situations it's extremely important to call the local public health line to talk to, to discuss the exact situation so they can give you very specific recommendations based on your unique uh, your unique setting so the local public health line would be extraordinarily helpful to go through the very you know detailed nuances of these situations because they're all going to be different yeah and remember you can call or go online for that information Dr. Bogosh good to have you yeah. with us again Oh, good to see you. And a reminder to our Your Morning viewers, if you have a question, please post it to our social media, and we will try to get as many of those questions answered as possible. We do it every day at 740 Eastern here on Your Morning. Thanks for watching. If you like this, be sure to subscribe here. And you can check out more Your Morning videos right here.